What's going on, guys? So we're on to some more Week 7s. Uh, we got a DPP OU game right here. Uh, the replay log thread uh, did not have this game. This is uh, TV Rocka or Porengun uh, versus Kevin Garrett. Uh, Kevin Garrett, a uh, legend from back in the old school days for DPP, ADV. I think he played a bit of BW as well, but didn't succeed as much as in those tiers. Also known as uh, definitely a bit of a stall player. At least that's how I know him. I don't know if that's his actual reputation because I don't know people. And then TV Rock, uh, uh, also uh, very well known in the DPP community. Uh, as I've recently found out, he's a pretty accomplished VGC player. And in the German VGC community, he's like top five or something. Uh, I don't know exactly because I'm not that in tune with the VGC community. But uh, he's making moves over there too. So shout outs to Perengun. Uh, he's under the alts Pokemaniac Livio this game, which is uh, interesting. I guess that's why they probably don't have it uh, on the replay thread yet, but I found it. And based on uh, when the game went down and um, what the chat is saying, I'm, I'm going to assume that it's the game. If it's not the game, then I'm just fucking retarded, but... We're just going to rock with it. So, lead Metagross from TV Rocka, and there is a Poudon from Kevin Garrett. Uh, so, ooh, turn one, boom. I hate when they do that. But that's kind of the risk that you take. Uh, it's whether, do I want to just boom right away, and do you go out to a ghost, or uh, do you not let your ghost take big damage? Uh, who knows? Who knows? But yeah, no rocks for Kevin Garrett. Uh, and, yeah, no rocks for Kevin Garrett, no who powed on, so if there's a Dragonite in the back, uh, that's gonna be really, really good for TV Rocka. Uh, so, a uh, good play right there, predicting the 50-50, so there's Rotom. Uh, so there was a Ghost on there, but, uh, typically, they don't go out to the Ghost right away. And then also, typically, they don't boom right away, so. Uh, good on, uh. That was very good on TV Rocket to pull the boom trigger turn one. So there's Willow Wisp. Uh, Lumberry, uh, pretty typical. Uh, not really typical in non lead uh, mod champ. Normally, if they're not leads, they're either going to be leftovers or they're going to be Custap. Uh, so the fact that we see a Lum there is a little unusual, but it's not that unusual. Uh, so that's good for him. There's also another Lum, uh, Lumberry from. Uh, Dragonite, so that means that it's almost certainly going to be DD. I mean, uh, in BW2, I've used um, Mixed Dragonite with Lumberry, just because of the fact that the particular team that I was using was really weak to Breloom, so I had Lumberry with, like, Hurricane and shit, and that was basically how I dealt with Breloom, was uh, I just used Hurricane, hope I hit, or I didn't even use Hurricane the first time, because obviously 70% uh, is a thing. But yeah, I just, uh, I've moved to Break the Sash and then E-Speed with Lumberry, so I don't get my shit put to sleep. But, uh, yeah, there's a DD, Outrage on Skarm, Whirlwind, uh, there's Jirachi, Jirachi's gonna U-turn, Skarm is Spadef, so, uh, even if the Jirachi has, like, T-Bolt or something, Skarm's not really gonna care too much about it and just lays down a spike. Uh, but Starmie's gonna be revealed. Fortunately, Milotic is in here, and Starmie is a very or Milotic is a very good answer to Starmie. Uh, Milotic has seen a bit of popularity rise recently for some reason, but it's always been a really underrated bulky water. Uh, I think its biggest problem is that it's just not like I don't know. It kind of has like four move slot syndrome, it's kind of. Like, I don't know, it's kind of hard to describe why it's, like, not used more often. I don't know, but it's it's still UU. So, anyways, Thunderbolt comes out. There's a pair. That's actually going to be good for it. Uh, so, Marvel scale activates, and it crit HP electric. Um, I didn't even know. Like, that star, we must have no bulk. So, yeah. Um, a champ comes in. There's payback. Uh, I feel kind of bad because that thought's incomplete on Melodic, but whatever. So now Star Skarmory is going to come in. I always get those two mixed up. Also, notice that because uh, Starmie died right there, uh, now Spikes are going to be down for the rest of the game. 
Uh, so that could potentially be unfortunate. That's at least going to be unfortunate for the Scarfrachi. So there's Tar, no lefties. Um, of course, Tar can run a gazillion sets. So, And there's the rocks on there. So D Metagross was not the rocker, it was Tar. So maybe that was uh, TV Rocka's plan, knowing that uh, Kevin Garrett is typically known for bulkier teams. So he's just going to try and explode early and then put the rocks on the tar later. So because uh, rocks tar um, with no lefties, it's probably like Lumber or something. I mean, it could be E-Belt and be a specially based rocker. It could also be uh, like Shookaberry, Choppleberry, Shed Shell. It could be a number of things, but Lumberry is just the most typical, at least in the modern DPP meta, from from my experience. Uh, I'm not enough of an expert. And there's a Fire Boss, so it might be a uh, might be a older lefties or not lefties um E belt set. Uh, so there's Melodic. It's gonna dodge. I don't really think that mattered too much. Uh, maybe it did, because I'd imagine that Dark Pulse does, like, 30-ish. Eh, nah. Dark Pulse probably only does, like, 25 or something. So I don't think that mattered too, too much. I mean, it obviously matters a little, especially because now Melodic can recover. Uh, and then it has to play these dynamic punch games. Of course, Marvel scales here, but... Uh, Melodic's gonna hit itself a confusion, so that's unfortunate because uh, Surf probably would have taken out Mod Champ there, uh, at least Surf with Sandstorm. And uh, Dynamic Punch is just gonna take it out, so that Melodic has like no bulk. Uh, Melodic, I don't know what they normally run if they run uh, Fizz Def or Spit Def. But that Mod Champ Dynamic Punch did a ton. Uh, especially with Marvel scale up, that did, and I didn't expect it to do that much, but. My champ is looking like a problem for Kevin Garrett's team. It looks like his way of dealing it is to sort of win prediction games to stall it out of Dynamic Punch with Rodom. Uh, that's sort of the main way that they deal with it, but because TV Rocka boomed Hippo, there's one of his main uh, Dynamic Punch switch-ins, or payback take tanks. I can't speak right now. Uh, but yeah, this Machamp is kind of a problem, because now you lose Skarmory, and uh, it's 4-2. Uh, to two. Uh, You're at crunch range, so here's T-Tar. Uh, I feel like this is probably Scarf Tar, but I guess we'll see. We just saw a Crunch. Uh, I guess we'll see. But uh, the probability of a second Bulky Water is uncommon. And yep, there's Infernape. So uh, we will see what the Infernape set is. I guess, but Rachi just Iron Heads right here because that's almost definitely Scarf Rachi. Uh, let's see what the uh, let's see what the Nape set is. Uh, TV Rock is going to switch out in case it is, um, thing with Bob, in case it is, uh, Scarf Nape. Does Infernape get agility? I don't believe so. But yeah, there's Fire Blast. Uh, t is going to take that all right. I guess Fire Blast is a th possibility on Scarf Nape, but typically the Scarf ones run, like, Overheat or something. I mean, sometimes I do run Fire Blast, but Overheat is slightly more common, slightly. And then, yeah, there's superpower. No reason not to superpower with the tar because you hit the tar if it wants to switch in. And you hit the nape. So things are not looking too good for Kevin Garrett. Uh, I mean, nape probably picks up a kill rate here, but it looks like the nape is choiced. Uh, probably Scarf, and at this point, Dragonite will probably win. I wonder what his tar uh, was, what, Kev what the Kevin Garrett tar was. Maybe he's running, like, dual Scarf or something. Or maybe the Infernape is something else. Hmm, I don't know. But yeah, there's the E-Speed. And... Oh uh, yeah, the E-Speed's gonna be able to pick off Nape. And that's gonna be the game. Uh, so apparently Kevin Garrett needs to make Skarmory faster. Uh, does Machamp run max speed now? I don't know. So I guess maybe that's the new meta call, is to make Skarmory fast enough to outspeed uh, Machamps. So maybe that's what he's saying. Um, well, at least, well, yeah, his team definitely doesn't deal well with Machamp. I wonder what his Melodic spread was, too, because I can't imagine, like, even if it's Max Bidef, like, Melodic has pretty reasonable defense, and it's like, you have Marvel scale up, so, and we know the Machamp wasn't Bandit or anything weird, it was, uh, Lum, so, that's a little, that, that Melodic spread is a little funky to me, but uh, he also got a little unlucky with 
hitting himself in confusion a bunch, but Machamp was definitely a problem uh, for Kevin Garrett's team. But even outside of Machamp, like, I think TV Rock uh, uh, just brought a bunch of stuff that uh, was, like, like he was well prepared for what Kevin Garrett's typical team structure is. And then uh, he played accordingly to the fact that Kevin Garrett typically plays a little bit safer, airs out to the side of caution, like to turn one, just clicking boom right away without scouting for a ghost. It's because Kevin Garrett probably isn't going to switch to the ghost right away. He's probably going to get rocks up or EQ or something. Also, that was very good from uh, TV Rock as end. So uh, pretty, pretty solid game otherwise. I hope you all enjoy, and I'll see you at the next game.